And joining us now by phone is Sidney Powell. She's a member, obviously, of the president's legal team, also General Michael Flynn's defense attorney, a great American, uh, one of the country's leading appellate attorneys. Uh, Sidney, first of all, thanks. I know you are going every which direction right now, busy as you could possibly be. Let's start out right now with the, the president's path to victory here as you and the legal team see it. Uh, if you could give us uh, just that uh, that canvas very quickly. Well, yes, Lou. The entire election, frankly, in all the swing states, should be overturned, and the legislatures should in make sure that the electors are selected for Trump, and it's going to have to follow the constitutional provisions that it go be decided according to the amendment. It's just, let's let's uh, yeah, let's, let's turn very let's turn it to Smartmatic and Dominion. Are they or are they not linked? Oh, they're definitely linked. I, I would call them inextricably intertwined. They have uh, the same history from their inception. I'm sure they're trying to distance themselves from each other. But the fact is that the Dominion machines run the Softmatic software and or uh, parts of the key code of it. And that is what allows them to manipulate the votes in any way the operators choose to manipulate them. And every time there was a glitch, as they called it, or a connection to the Internet, they also violated state laws that required the machines to be certified and nothing to be changed before the votes. There are any number of legal grounds on which the use of those machines has to be uh, stopped and the votes un invalidated. And now, are you uh, are you pressing forward with legal action against them for those uh, those violations? Uh, not against the company and the software, but the suits will be against the election officials to invalidate the results of the election and force it to the legislatures and the electoral college and then the Congress, if necessary. There has been great controversy, as well as you know, about uh, reports of a raid uh, on a, a company, a, a, uh, Cytel, uh, in Germany, which held election data, presumably, uh, and a raid that was carried out by U.S. Uh, U.S. forces, or so goes the report, although the, the forces themselves were not uh, clearly identified. Uh, nor the event uh, uh, actually uh, proven. Uh, can you tell us what actually did happen there and, and what you do know? Well, I know that is one of the server centers. There's also one in Barcelona. So it is related to the entire Smartmatic Dominion software operation. We do not know whether the good guys got the servers or whether the bad guys got them. Uh, being on the outside of the government, we simply don't know. I'm hoping it's the good guys, and if they have that, then there should be scads of evidence of, frankly, an international conspiracy, criminal conspiracy of the worst sort. And it's it, the presumption then that they had uh, the uh, the records on those servers, the uh, uh, of all of the votes that were processed uh, by Dominion or Smartmatic? Yes. The way it works, the votes can be changed either on the ground as they come in. People can watch the votes stream in live. For example, there was a, a Dominion employee high up, high ranking at the Detroit Center the night of the election. He could have watched the votes come in live and manipulated them in that process. It could have run an automatic algorithm against all the votes, which we believe is what happened originally. And then the machines had to stop, and the, recount, or the counting had to stop in multiple places because President Trump's lead was so great at that point, they had to stop the vote counting and come in and backfill the votes they needed to change the result. And let me ask you as we wrap up here, uh, what is uh, the next steps uh, for the legal team and when do you believe you will be prepared to come forward with uh, hard evidence establishing the basis uh, for a court uh, to overturn uh, elections or at least results uh, of those elections uh, in a number of battleground states? Well, we are still in the process of collecting evidence. It's coming in in massive right. amounts. 
And even today, we're getting more people coming forward telling us the truth about what happened. I would think we would have fraud complaints ready sometime uh, by late next week at the latest. But like I said, it's it's just a massive amount of information now. We've got, well, let me put it this way. There are thousands of people in federal prisons on far less evidence of criminal conduct than we have already against uh, the Smartmatic and, and uh, Dominion Systems companies. And most of the companies in the country run the same sort of software or have that code in their software. So it's farther, and it's in, more widespread. And incredibly, one of the benefits of this may be that we will learn who actually owns these companies. We have just watched uh, to everyone uh, in this audience tonight our election is run by companies, the ownership of which we don't know. Sidney Powell is among those trying to change all of that. Sidney Powell, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it.